Welcome back to the DJ Sessions, where we feature the best DJs from around the world. I'm your host, Darren, and right now, I'm in the ITV Live studios in Seattle, Washington. And on the other end, in this exclusive phone interview right now, I'm sitting here with Rob Garza from the Thievery, Thievery Corporation. Rob, how's it going today? Great. I'm doing fantastic. Nice awesome. to be here. Yeah. Now, are you? where are you located at? Are you in San Francisco? I live in San Francisco. Um, originally, we're from D.C. We were based out of D.C. since 1995, and uh, I moved out here to the West Coast about five years ago. Nice. How are you liking it on the West Coast? Love it. Yeah. It's a great uh, change of scenery. San Francisco would be the number one city of my choice to move to outside of Seattle. I've been born and raised here and just love it here so much, and I live right in the heart of downtown, but... San Francisco is where my heart would go to if if I relocate. (laughs) (laughs) So we might be neighbors someday. Um, But yeah, you mentioned you started in 95. You've been doing this for about 20 years. You have nine albums. You're currently on tour. How's that tour going? Great. You know, it's just uh, for us, it's easy to go out and still do shows because, you know, we have such a great band and a great lineup of you know, the singers and just all sorts of musicians and uh, we still love it. So that's what keeps us going. And this is a, it is a live show. I've, you'll have to forgive me. I've never been to one of your shows yet. I will be going in September in Seattle when you guys are up here. But um, it is a live show. It's a live, uh, live performance as opposed to like a DJ set or an electronic set, would you say? Yeah, well, it's a combination of live and electronic. We have about 12 people on stage. Um, usually we have our horn section, percussionist, sitar player, uh, about five or six vocalists, myself and Eric and a drummer. And uh, so, you know, it's, it's, it's quite a circus up there. It's kind of a revolving door of singers and uh, different styles and genres. So it's, I think it's a lot more energetic than people would think if they haven't seen the show before and you're and you're known to blend styles together ranging uh you you use a lot of bossa nova is there any one particular style you would like to experiment with outside of your normal um the normal three very corporation sound um you know we've experimented with a lot i can't think of too much more um you know, but uh, I think every time we sit down to make a new record, we kind of, you know, uh, just build on what we've done before and, and, and keep exploring. So, you know, that kind of uh, excitement, I think, is, is where our inspiration comes from. And have you ever exper- experimented with mixing audio and video at the same time? And if not, would that be something you'd like to try out? Well, we've had the live... Uh, you know, our live shows going on and, and have had video not totally synced up to the music, but, you know, kind of going on while particular songs are playing, while we're, you know, just performing and everything like that. So that's probably the extent of it. I don't think we've ever really tried to do anything, you know, synced up because, you know, the, the show is kind of built on live instrumentation. So. Yeah, I, I know a lot of, uh, there's been a lot of flack in the EDM industry where people are actually, you know, just saying the DJs are pressing a play button because the light show has to sync with the music. They yeah. can't really spin live because if they did, the light show wouldn't match up with what's going on. So it could exactly. be very difficult matching visuals to a to a live audio performance um, because every one performance is going to be unique. So. Um, yeah, well, that's kind of one of the things that I think is like if you're going to go out and spend all this production as a EDM DJ, you know, those guys probably have to have that stuff really synced up tight. And so you probably don't have enough room to really improvise the way that you would do if you were just like just a, a normal DJ or whatever. Exactly. Speaking of, of mixing visual uh, audio with visual, if you could score a Hollywood movie, which director would you have as your preference? Um, well, we've, we've uh, done something um, with Steven Soderbergh before. We, he would be somebody I would, I would think of to you know, really enjoy his work. And we've actually had some songs in his movies and have, have met him. And so... Um, you know, but uh, 
I think a lot of our inspiration comes from from movies back in the back in the day, like you know, kind of late sixties, seventies, kind of mm -hmm. old Italian uh, soundtrack music and things like that. So mm -hmm. that yeah. could that could be really cool to do something like an old <laughs> spaghetti western or something. <laughs> That would be awesome. Get old Clint back on the horse. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Directed by Steven Soderbergh, of course. Yeah, well, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah so, that, could, that could be cool. If, if, if you had to pick one of your productions as your most favorite one, uh, which one would that be? And is there a thought behind it for it to be your favorite? Say that one more time. Oh, if you had to pick one of your productions as your most favorite one, which one would that be? And is there a thought behind it for it to be your favorite? Um, it's hard for me to think of a particular song as the favorite. You know, um, it's probably easier to think in terms of albums. You know, and, um, you know, for me, Mirror Conspiracy will always be a favorite because I felt like that was kind of after we made our first record, we knew that. You know, we could do it, and then at that point, it was just like really exploring and that sort of enthusiasm of of believing that you know that there was a career ahead of us making and creating music. Absolutely, and you you definitely had a, a, an amazing ride, and it's still continuing, which is just awesome. It takes me back to one of the first times I heard of the Thievery, Thievery Corporation. Um, you may be familiar with this this internet station or not, but are you familiar with Selma FM? I, I am. Yeah, yep. I, I basically started listening to Groove Salad in college when iTunes had first come out, and it has been one of the staple stations that I've listened to in my entire life, and I know the sets now that Ru Rusty gets into, and I can go, I know exactly where this is going in the next 10 songs playing, but Thievery Corporation was so prominent in there that I... I didn't even know half the time I was listening to to your tracks that you guys created, and um, looking back, you know, I just really love what what they've done over there, and um, you know, Groove Salad—they're based out of San Francisco as well, and I, I support yeah. them. And really good, really good guys over there. But uh, speaking of radio shows or, or online stations, do you have a radio show or podcast that you guys put out? Um, <clears throat> we've done things for different radio stations in the past, but we don't have anything. Like that, you know, just uh, or it's a weekly or, or monthly kind of thing. But we, we've toyed around with the idea before, but uh, we just have so much going on, I think, between the two of us. And it's hard to really put in the time. If you're going to, you know, put in the time, you have to really love it. So, and make the time for it. So. <laughs> I know exactly what you mean. We have a, we've been going for about six, six years over here on the DJ sessions. And we got about 900 one hour episodes online in the past six years. So people definitely know we love, we love what we do here and we love interviewing yeah. people like yourself. that are so passionate about their art form, um, that it, it makes it a worthwhile venture for everyone to be involved, um, you know, in the music community. And, and we really want to thank you from the bottom of our ears and our hearts for what you guys create and make over there in your camp. Oh, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Yeah. Is there anything else you'd like to let our DJ Sessions fans know about before I let you go? A website, Facebook, Twitter, anything like that? No, yeah, just we're really excited to be coming up and playing uh, in Seattle and being part of the Decibel Festival. And, uh, you know, it's one of our favorite places to, to come and play. And it's been a minute, so, you know, we're super stoked. Yeah, good old Sean Horton and the Decibel Festival, one of the city's best events around. Uh, well, yeah. we, we look forward to having you in town here when you get here. And uh, thanks again for the interview, Rob. We'll be we'll be talking with you guys soon. Sounds good. Take care. Yeah, you have a great evening. Okay. You too. Bye-bye. And that was Rob Garza from San Francisco coming in for the Thievery Corporation on the DJ Sessions. Don't forget to go to our website, thedjsessions.com. Find us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, hashtag us, the DJ Sessions. This is Darren, and we'll be coming to you next time with some more DJs from around the world on the DJ Sessions, where the music never stops. <laughs>